In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer crypto from KuCoin to Binance. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually open up KuCoin. From here, we can go into the top right corner where it says assets, and we just want to go down to funding account. Now, I've got some crypto in my funding account. However, yours may be in your trading account. So if yours is in your trading account, you can come over to this section. But since mine's in funding, I'm going to stay over here. And as you can see, I've got some AVEX that I'm looking to send over to Binance. So what I'll do is go over to the right hand side and we can see a few different options. But since we're trying to send it to Binance, we're going to choose withdraw. So after you've done that, you'll be on this withdraw crypto page. And what we have to do from here is actually go over to our Binance account. So now we're in Binance, we can go ahead over to our assets section. And from here, instead of clicking withdraw, we're going to go ahead and choose deposit. And we want to choose to deposit crypto at the top. Now from here, we'll have to select the coin which we're trying to deposit. But we're trying to choose AVAX, so I'm just going to choose that. Now you want to make sure to choose the right coin in here, because obviously not all of you will be looking to send AVAX. So whatever coin you're trying to send, choose that here. From there, we can select the network. And with AVAX, we can choose either AVAX or AVAX C chain. And it says here that normal AVAX will actually have lower fees, so we can choose this one here. So now we can go back to Binance and we can choose the chain that we just chose, AVAX. So make sure your networks and coins both match. From there, we get given a deposit address and we can choose get address. And from here, we get given an address which we can send our AVAX to. So I'm just going to copy this and then we can go back to KuCoin and paste it in here. And from here, we can choose how much we want to deposit. So I'm just going to choose 0.1. And for some coins, you may also have to put additional information in here, such as remarks. When we go back to Binance, we can see that we only have to put in this address. It will tell us here if we have to put in any other information. So we can double check this, make sure the address, the coin and the chain is all correct. We then want to make sure the amount that we're sending is correct as well. And from there, we can review the transaction by looking at everything down here, making sure you're okay with the fees. And then once you're happy, you can click withdraw. And then you can confirm the withdrawal by clicking confirm. And it shouldn't take too long to send, but the time will vary depending which chain you chose to deposit on. And when you have actually sent that over, if you wanted to check how long it is going to take, you can go over to where it says history on this left hand side. And from here, you want to switch from deposit history over to withdrawal history. And that will show you all the times that you withdrew. And where it says status here, it will actually show you how far it is away from being completed. And obviously, when it's 100%, you'll be able to come back over to Binance and go to your wallet. And you'll then be able to see the crypto that you just sent over in your spot wallet account. And from there, you can do whatever you want with it. So you can invest in crypto or you can withdraw it to a different account. It's completely up to you. So that's how you can transfer crypto from KuCoin to Binance. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.